Next stop is the Texas Blue Bonnet Trail where there's like some wine and cheese thing. There may be wine and cheese actually on the trail. Like we'll reach down on the ground and pick it up and eat it. I don't think that's what's gonna happen. Ticket? Yep. <laughs> nice. We wanna get somewhere real fast, chase an ambulance. Hey, can you read the thing about where we're going so that we can? Okay. Texas Blue Bonnet Wine and Cheese Trail. Where is it at? It's in Bryan, Texas. Okay. Is that a prison truck? I think it is. Hold on. Uh oh. No, it's a bus. A mini bus. But it looks like a prison truck. That, this story would be better if that was a prison truck. <laughs> We're here. Okay. Uh, don't get hit. <laughs> Is that your car? Looks good. That's it. Yeah. All the four moments. Thoughts? I like them. And did I already sign y'all in? Yep. Okay. All right. So everybody signed in. What we are going to have for everybody today is going to be a sparkling rosé. It is going to be very fruit forward, but not overly sweet. Um, it will have notes of grapefruit and spiced watermelon in it. Once y'all finish y'all's wine and y'all's appetizer, we are going to have a second wine for y'all to try. It is going to be a red blend of, it's called GSM, it's going to be a red blend of Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedra. Um, it is a very well balanced wine. Um, it's going to be very smooth on the palate. Let me get you some more. It's going to be very smooth on the palate. Um, it's not going to be overly dry or super tannic, um, but it's not going to be super sweet either. Um, it's won several awards at our Houston Livestock Show. It is only sold here on premise. As far as our reds go, most of our red wine drinkers, when they actually try it, they usually end up drinking that. They absolutely love it. We're drinking wine. Hold it like you were partying. I liked it. Not too sweet, not too dry, sort of in between. And then this this uh, red is actually also sort of like that it's bizarre, right? I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Nathan Ryerson as I drink this. Although I'm not going to stick my nose into this and be very like you know methodical about it. I'm just sort of winging it. I want one of these. Um, in my house. Which room will it go in? Your room. Uh, we're touring the wine gift shop. Actually, I mean they're selling wine, right? So yes. technically it's that's part of the gifts. We're leaving the Messina winery and going to another one whose name I don't know the name, but it's, they're all three right next to each other. So we're not sure what, where we are. And I think this is like their corporate office. Hey, look, those look like Superman symbols. Next. We are now driving to winery number two. Uh, we just learned that winery number one didn't contain the others. Yeah. There were like three buildings next to it, or two. And we walked to each one and they were like, dude, that's the only place. So uh, I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Next place is called Peach Something. There's a, maybe there's gonna be a peach there. Aww. I don't know, we're like eight, nine miles away. We're entering the winery. Sam says it's like we're entering like the haunted mansion. Okay. <sighs> Shall we? Yes, we shall. We're waiting in line. Hi, how are y'all? Hi, doing good. Look at that. Hi. That's all decorated up in that cube. How are y'all today? 
So we're serving our Blanc de Bois wines uh, because that's what we put in the soup. That's what the soup is made with. Okay. So um, we can, uh, you can do dry, semi-sweet, or a sweet. I'll go semi. I'll do dry. So for the dry, we have Oasis. Really fruity aroma, but totally dry finish. There you go. And semi-sweet is Aloha. Coming out of the cute little puppy dog. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. And uh, have a seat. We'll be out with some soup. All right. Let's go over there. It's a good white wine. Apparently, my mom buys crap white wine. Oh, mine is a semi-sweet, but I appreciate the um, the dryness that they've sort of mixed in. It's a little bit more on the dry side, but I like it. There's goats over there. I'm still happy. There's goats. We're gonna look. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it better. What's this bucket for? This is, this is the vomit bucket. Or is it the spit bucket? I don't know. What is, what's in there? Is there anything here? It is the spit bucket. I looked inside. You want to drink out of it? <laughs> How much would you give me? <laughs> Oh look, goats. Oh, we already said that. We got our cheeseburger soups. <laughs> Wine and cheese! There you go. We're taking off. We're heading out to the other winery that's closer to home. Winery number three. People like snicker like ah, he's filming himself rednecks <gasps> that's cool i love that though it's real hey do you have your breathalyzer yeah uh, <laughs> can i borrow it is it done yep. okay tell me what it says we're all right. Yes. <laughs> We're not giving us enough wine. Turn right, then your destination will be on the right. Burn hard. Man, this thing sure does burn hard. Uh, uh, wait. What? You might want to get that checked. <laughs> your destination is on the right. Okay, getting out. All right. Thank you. Oh yeah, we'll we'll get pictures of that. We're trying the Chardonnay and the Pinelli. It's a good Chardonnay. I find it. Um, they say it's dry, but I'm like, mm, no, it's pretty good as far as the the sweetness. Not too much on the bitter. This one's too like sweet for me. Chardonnay is at uh, eighteen dollars a bottle. Pinelli is also eighteen. Pretty reasonable. Yeah. And we're gonna go for some reds. Huh. This is. I call this the Nathan Ryerson Ryerson spin. It's this guy. Although he does it with beer. I like it. Bye. Okay, we're gonna get a, a real glass. A real glass. Yes. There's a birdhouse right across from us. And it's shaped like a bird church. So I got the crimson. And again, we're at the Bernhardt Winery near Magnolia, Texas. I'm not exactly sure. We'll put, a, we'll put an address right down here. And we like this place so much we decided to stay and party. I am holding all the glasses at once. What does that mean? For the pirating winery number three, we're gonna go home. It's the end of this video. Uh, we're gonna have some Tia Maria's with my mom and dad. Hopefully that'll be super awesome, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Later!